Hey guys, so today I am behind the camera, but I wanna show you really quick uh, the beautiful centerpieces that I'm working on. Uh, this is for a Capri Italy inspired centerpieces. I have a total of five that I'm working on, as you can see over here. So very quick, I wanna show you uh, the centerpieces I built. These are just regular wood pieces with wood spindles, okay? You can see I spray painted them. They used to be that color. They're golden, like a shiny golden now. And these are, I believe these are five by five dimension wise. And the spindle is, um, oh, I believe, I mean, I guess, you know what? I don't have the exact size for these, but they come like, like a long spindle and I just cut it in half. I don't know if you guys will go by that, but on my last video, I got, I give you guys measurements on them and you can check it out. But um, all I did was just spray paint them and I have my bases. Now for the colors, I'm using a pastel macaroon yellow and a pink blush is called. These are callison balloons. You can see here they're five inches. Standard pink blush and a macaroon yellow, five inches. So I'm using a total of two bags. I'm not sure if it'll be enough, but I do believe it will. And um, I'm building my little centerpieces and I'll show you really quick how I'm doing okay, them. Guys, so this is what I've been working on. This cute little clusters on the top and cute little clusters at the bottom. So very quickly, I am using my hand pump. And for these, I'm calibrating my balloons to different sizes. So for my bottom ones and top ones right here, I'm calibrating those balloons to two air pumps, okay? And for the little ones, I'm calibrating these and these, which are a little smaller, to one pump and a half of air. And you can see them pre-made right here. So all I do is I start like this, interlock them into place, and then, and then use my little ones, and same thing, place them in, in there on top. And same thing up here on the top. So I'm going to be working on these and show you the next step okay guys so i have my five center pieces all lined up over here you can see how cute these are all i did was just put like a rubber balloon in here to give it some grip so my balloons don't slide and there you have them so now that they're all lined up i'm going to make my topper balloon okay for that i'm using same brand callison balloons but an 18 inch standard pink blush okay um she this is a baby shower so obviously as a girl we're using pink and i'm gonna make pink to be the the main color with the yellow and green being accents so the topper is gonna be the 18 inch standard pink blush with a 24 inch bobo balloon okay so the reason i'm using the bobo balloon is because it gives that very nice like beach ball effect to go on the top so as you can see i'm stretching it over here i'm going to inflate it a couple times and then i'm just going to double stuff it with my 18 inch balloon inflate them together so i can put them on top and secure them on top okay you guys so now i'm finally done with my topper balloons and like i said i double stuff my bobo balloons right here you see them with an 18 inch uh pink blush balloon inside a 24 inch bobo balloon and all i did is just tie the inner balloon you can see there and attached a 260 stretchy balloon to secure any air so now these will serve as a tab for me to place on top and um tuck them in there to secure my piece
So I will show you once I attach all of them what it will look like. Okay, you guys, so I've attached my center pieces, as you can see. Don't mind my mess. So how adorable are they? I'm just gonna move back a little bit so you can appreciate it from far. You see, I have my five center pieces. I actually made a six one only because, um, I don't know, I just had extra material and I figure just have an extra so if anything was to happen, at least I have an extra. So I have them all set. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I bought these, um, this greenery and I'm not sure what the brand is actually, hold on, it's on the box. Oh, okay, it's Lynx Moment, and that's the link uh, for you guys. These are super, super cute, and they look so realistic. So these are actual stems, and you can see this is just one stem right here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave some of these and put them on my centerpiece to give it that Capri um, Italy look to it and uh, very organic. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put the whole thing here, but I will take, let me show you. I will take a piece like this, snip it and glue dot or maybe hot glue this on my piece. And I'll put some on the top, some trickling down and at the bottom. I'll show you how I will style them. Okay, you guys, so here's the progress so far for my center pieces. And as I was telling you before, so I'm grabbing this greenery right here. And what I did is I just like use my um, greenery cutter and I snipped a few of this, the leaves um, and I placed them right over here. So I just want to show you really quick how um, I'm placing them on my centerpiece. So here's one of them. And um, I grab one of my uh, pieces. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck it in here in between, right? But before I do that, I'm going to use um, some of my glue dots or you glue dashes and for these I'm just going to put a little piece here where I need to tuck in this leaf and that's what's going to secure my greenery same thing at the bottom I use and you can see I cut up a bunch of stuff I use some of the leaves and what I did is I just put a little glue dot tucked it in there and it will secure my piece. So that's so far what I have. Um, I don't know, originally I had this idea of using the, the middle and like almost do it like a vine going down. But I feel like, I don't know, it's a little bit too much if I'm being honest. Um, I'm still toying around with this idea, so I'm not quite sure yet hello guys good morning <laughs> so i wanted to show you really quick what i ended up doing um i said earlier that i didn't want to do anything in the middle but i changed my mind because i actually think just the one stick like the one middle without anything it was a little empty if that makes sense so to be more cohesive i did decided to add greenery so I added a few and kind of weaved them around so you can see how they turned out um, each piece. Like it has more body to it with the greenery. And you know what? Because it's, it is an Italian theme, you know how, how Capri Italy with the vines and the Ruscas and all that, um, I don't think it affected the piece. I think it actually added more greenery, which I, I love. So this is the final look. I hope you guys uh, love it as much as I do. And I'll take some pictures and shots 
of them being placed at the restaurant. Um, for those of you that do have questions about what kind of artificial um, greenery these are, so these are called Italian Ruscus. That's, so if you're gonna find them on Amazon or anything like that, just type in Italian Ruscus and you'll have a bunch of these type of um, artificial greenery. So I think it goes with a theme of Italy and that's what we have. So I'll show you the pictures once I get to the place. And before I forget, if you guys love more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below. Leave me your comments and I know I will try to make more videos. I know the holidays are coming, so I wanna make a few pieces for you guys. And um, thank you for watching. Have a good day.